Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I hand applique this block. So first of all, I cut my thread about 12 to 18 inches long, and I just do a single knot at the end. So you don't wanna use double threads. When you hand applique, you kinda want invisible stitches, so use thin thread. You can use 50 or 80 weight. And I use my applique needles. They're straw needles. They're really long and thin. After a while they will bend, but you know, that's just typical straw needles. And so then you just get another one. But in this little tube, there's a whole bunch of different sizes. So the bigger sizes are easier to thread. The smaller sizes are harder to thread because they have such a tiny um, hole, but the thread is very thin. So it does fit in there, I promise. So what I do after I've knotted the end, I start underneath the applique. So I'm just going to show you how I do this with the leaf. I will just come up and come out on the edge of the fabric. And then my knot, I just kind of hide under there. You could start, you know, back here if you wanted to, but I typically just knot back there and that's all. The rest of the time I'm just working at the top. So my thread is out of the side here, so I want to go into the background right exactly where my thread, in the same spot where my thread came out, come up and take a little bite out of the applique. I usually put my thumb under there so that my thread won't knot as I'm going down. And again, I just go straight down in where I came up and then take a bite out of the applique. So I'm kind of putting one stitch in and setting up for the next stitch at the same time. And because um, I've used my interfacing and the So Simple Shapes method, there is no raw edges and so you don't have to really do really tiny, tiny close stitches. You're not doing needle turn where you're um, turning the ends under. It's already turned under so I, I typically go about maybe an eighth of an inch or a little bit bigger apart. And I just pull it through. When I pull it through, I tend to kind of set it with my pinky there, kind of go like that, and I'm sinking the stitch when I go down in. So this stitch is the typical applique stitch it's, that you would use for a needle turn applique. We're just, like I said, not turning the edges because they're already turned under. So you can kind of see on the side view what that looks like. I'm just taking a little bite. If I take the bigger bite that I take, I would go deeper into the fabric, and so that would show. So you don't need to take very much, because remember, you're just taking a few threads of the fabric and a little bit of the interfacing, and that's a very sturdy stitch. You don't ever have to, if you've ever tried to unpick applique, you know how sturdy it is. So see on the side view there, that's really the, the opportunity that you have to see those stitches on the side. And so on the top, it's pretty invisible. And so then I just work my way around. It's actually a pretty fast stitch. I'm just going pretty slow so that I can, you know, show you how it goes. But, and then I just work myself, my way all around the leaf. This is why I like to use glue instead of pins because I like to bunch the block up in my hands. And I don't have to worry about sticking myself. And I like the fact that I can prepare the entire block and then just applique it all at once instead of one piece at a time and then take the pins out and then start all over. But the most important thing is you just enjoy your applique so you do it in your favorite method. Okay, so I've got one more stitch. And I'm going to show you how I just knot in the back. I do use matching thread to my applique, not the background, but the applique itself. So that's what the stitches look like on the back. And when I knot, I just take a bite out of the fabric behind the applique so that it's not going to show in the front or in the seam there is fine go through the loop a few times and then I like to hide the end between so I just go underneath the applique here but it doesn't show at the front this is just like 
my grandma taught me to do in hand quilting, and then I just snip it off. And that's what it looks like.